Now, let's go ahead and talk about a uh, chord theorem. And there's going to be a couple, two theorems that we're going to go over for today um, that I'm going to dedicate to Blake. <laughs> now, that is a beautiful circle. Thank you very much. So we have a circle, Kaylee. Oh, and nice. on the circle, we have um, a center, which we'll call a citre. Now, on this center, I'm going to draw two chords. All right, and I'm going to go through a special um, theorem with you. Let's say we have a chord here, and uh, let's try to do it here. All right, now if we have this chord, previously what we have discussed, all right, is central angles. And let's pretend that this. You know, these could also be the endpoints of the central angle, right? And let's just call this um, F, G, and let's call these two points H, J. All right? Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we were talking about the central angle, that was the angle of this arc, right? We could say the angle of this arc, right? The arc, the angle of the arc was like x degrees, correct? And remember, x degrees was equal to the measure of, of that arc, which we called it, right? So we said, remember when we, um, we said the measure of arc um, F, G, is equal to x degrees. Do you guys remember we did that in our notes? No. The measure of that arc is the equal to that x degrees, the, the, the angle that it creates. So the theorem that we're going to be talking about today is if you have two chords, and those two chords are congruent. Meaning, HJ is congruent to line FG. So if you have two chords that are exactly the same measurements, two chords, doesn't matter where they are, they're exactly the same measurements, then their arcs are also going to be exactly the same measurement. Meaning, measure of FG is going to be congruent to the measure of h. Now, let me do it in the same way. So the measure of their arcs are going to be exactly the same as well. All right? So I can give you guys something that's you know, very similar to this. Sorry. If 